All right, baby. The swollest has officially been summoned on this game. That's right, guys. In today's video, we're going to play some more anime story. Update 2 just came out. And uh, I know some of you guys might be wondering. Uh, Vex, what do, you, what do you mean you've been summoned? Well, a couple of the peeps on the Discord server. <laughs> Which, by the way, you should totally join my Discord server. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell? I'm crashing into stuff over here. But, yeah, they requested that I play this game. And here I am. And is that Mario? Mario! 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 I'm a big fan. All right. I hate Mario now. So guys, I have played the game a little bit on my own time. And I wanted to show you guys that I unlocked um, Mugetsu. So let's get out of here. Wait, what the heck? Did they just change up the dash and how fast it goes? Oh, I don't know. What the hell is this lobby, bro? There's like a watermelon dude over here. What? Look at this dude, bro. <laughs> what? Okay, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I need to get my form ready. I forgot about that. So let's try to do that. Catch you guys in a bit here. All right, I wanted to show you guys. Basically, if I press the N key now, here we go. I become Mugetsu. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I didn't get this on camera. I'm pretty sure I got it off camera. I don't know. It's been a couple of days since I last played the game, so I can't really remember. But um, yeah, Mugetsu is pretty cool transformation. I pressed the uh, the N key again to use my special, uh, as you guys can see, but it, it literally destroys my energy. Um, and yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. That's all I've gotten off camera since we last played out in this game. But, you know, like I said, they did update the game, and I think it has to do with seven deadly sins. I'm not really quite too sure what other specifics, but we're going to find out. And by the way, here are some new codes. I love how this game updates the description of the actual game page to show you the new codes. So be sure to use this if you haven't already. Okay, guys. So here is the update log for update two on the official Discord server for the game. It is pretty lengthy, so I'm just going to scroll down and you guys can pause the video and see what you think is important. Now, I'm going to read through it myself and I'll keep you guys posted as to what I think is important in just a second. Okay, so the first big new thing is uh, the enchantment system that they have now it's not the same as weapon enchantments but rather their spirits so you have a couple of different spirits available right now and they can proc on any attack or proc excuse me any attack and go on a 10 second cooldown after you know proccing so the way to get these new spirits out of enchantments is to find trainers and apparently new ones are going to be added in the future now they've added two new events which is the one who drops uh, the cruel sun and the uh, sun ore and then the ascended vampire so uh, it drops Time Stop and Deal's Diary. Obviously, the one probably is going to be Escanor and maybe the Vampire stuff. Uh, that could be Dio himself. I don't know. Now, they have some new summables and weapons and equipment as well that is craftable. So, be sure to, you know, pay attention to this. And that's pretty much it. That's, like, the most important stuff I've noticed. And I go back into the game and I was kicked due to unexpected client behavior. Okay. Okay. And I'm kicked yet again because of unexpected client behavior, bro. <laughs> What is going on here? So let's let's try this again, right? Let's try this one more time. All right, it let us in this time around. All right. Anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and check out the blacksmith because he should have. Yeah, this is the divine axe ridder. You know what I'm saying? This is this is where it's at. But we need two flame gens and two sun ores. Unfortunately, I don't know if I'll be able to craft this even if I get to level 100 because we need to get the the two sun ores as drops from the event, and I don't know how often the event happens. But uh, the world over heaven is also here as well, which is pretty cool. Oh, damn. Wait a minute. How do I get out of here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got the meteor. Yo, the meteor stuff is, is pretty dope because they have buffed it now. So meteor gives double the amount of XP when you complete it. So this should be pretty cool. And I don't know if it's just me, but I, I wish that they literally decide to um, buff the amount of geppos that you can use. Because right now, oh, my God. Yo, these guys are not allied. Oh, well, Rather, should I say none of us are allied and we are just like messing things up. There we go. We completed it. We got a couple of levels. Not bad. I like that. Yo, some of these guys have really cool. Like, look at this weapon, bro. This weapon looks mad cool. And this guy has a stand already, as you guys can see. And then there's another dude that had like an ice hammer or an electric hammer. Look at this. Wow. Yo, the equipment stuff, man. Yo, crazy. Crazy. I like it. By the way, I also wanted to mention that they have updated the game's Trello. So this thing is absolutely extremely beefy right now. They have a bunch of stuff here that you guys can read through. So be sure to use it to your convenience. All right, guys. So here is the Flame Spirit Trainer. I just went to the Land of Shinobi and I noticed that there was some gold ore here. So I just got some gold ore. But yeah, the Flame Spirit Trainer is here. Uh, oh, okay. I forget. We need three flame gems and because of the codes i actually think we got a couple of gems where are they at uh magic gem yeah we have two of them so you use them and you get a random chance to get a certain type of gem so for example we got a divine gem and then we got a thunder gem 
So, but we did get three divine gems already, which is crazy. Uh, but unfortunately, we only got two thunder gems. So we're going to have to get some more gems. And if you guys are curious how to get magic gems, you have to uh, get them inside the mines and they spawn randomly. So if I were to reset and check right now, I don't really think there's going to be anything here. Um, to be honest, ever since the game's released, whenever I play the game, I never really see anything in the mines anymore. But um, right, I mean, possibly those magic ores and stuff like that could be scattered all across the map as well, because before you could you know go up here and you would also be able to find like ores and stuff around here um but yeah i'm not really seeing anything so unfortunately it is going to be a little bit of a hassle for you to figure out and find these ores but right let's keep it pushing wait a minute actually guys i think they've added in a new area right next to the naruto world i'm going to show you guys what i mean so this is the naruto area right and then if i jump over here they I, i've never seen this area before this might be new so this is uh <laughs> are you an imposter and his name is sus okay so i don't know maybe this area is not new oh this is dungeons which are coming soon so yeah this is probably new could have been here last update could have been here for a while and i just never noticed but right i wonder what dungeons are going to be like and what they give you it'd be nice if dungeons actually gave you rewards kind of like for example like the ores that i have to go around and find right and oh we just found a random roca fruit okay all right not bad man not bad at all we're finding a lot of items and stuff. Interesting. I, I I didn't see this NPC either, but in the Hollow World, they have a secret quest for Shin. So apparently, he's telling us to find his sword and bring it back to him. So I I don't know. Like like I said, I never noticed that quest um in the past either. Okura seems to be glitched. I think this guy's trying to farm him or something. I don't know. But uh but yeah, let's complete this quest and figure out what we get. So here's a sword. What do we do? We cook it? Oh, okay. We completed the quest. I don't. <laughs> What's the point of doing that secret quest? It could have been here last update because it seems that that was Shinji who we just talked to. But uh, yeah, I've just been running around trying to see if I could, you know, find one of these ores and I'm just not getting lucky at all. So it's important to know that events occur every 30 minutes in game. I never really realized this because I didn't really pay attention to events, to be honest with you, until now. So yeah, just 30 minutes. But at the same time, look how many events are in the game. So <laughs> yeah, man, you getting lucky enough to get what you want is going to be difficult. So guys, here's another trainer, uh, which is the Frost Trainer. And this is actually Todoriki. Um, and he's right next to like the one piece area. Oh, there we go. I think I got lucky. I think I'm pretty sure this has to be the blessed one or is this going to be, oh, this is diamond. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, what the hell, man? I'm out here on a mission trying to get these, uh, ores and it's not working out for me. Whatever. Anyway, real quick, before we do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and summon and try to get some new abilities here. Ooh, bungee card. That's new. And we'll see what we get, you know what I mean? Because honestly, everything else has just not been working out for me as far as like trying to get this ore stuff. But I think Bungie is going to be the only new ability that we get. Everything else we've already gotten. My RNG, man, you got to love it. Wow, you got to love it. <laughs> God damn it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Bungie ability so that we can see how that looks. So what the hell? Okay, I used it, but it went right through the enemy. Ooh, Seto I actually did not have before. Damn. Seto actually looks really nice. So let's just hit this dude one time and then use the button. Dude, I'm going to have to like, you have to be shift locked in order to use that move effectively, I guess. I'd rather just use it on a, on a monkey over here. Let's see. Bungie. Oh yeah, you, you pull them in guys when you use it. Not bad. I like that. But I especially like uh, Seto. Seto just, wow crazy all right i'm not gonna lie guys I i've been playing the game over an hour now and i have nothing to show for it i don't <laughs> so let me show you guys my rotation for grinding these these uh gem things right because in the process of me grinding the gem slash ores i was waiting for me to get a spawn for escanor which by the way the discord server does have a section for grinding bosses but it's just like whoever writes in here like oh look somebody just spawned in threat level demon i don't even know who this <gasps> bro just as i was about to talk trash <laughs> yo are you kidding me all right cool so let me let me go ahead and put all my stat points in here all right all right all right all right all right never mind never mind sir 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 relax sir sir okay sir i don't know if we're gonna be able to do this at all because another another thing is it's really difficult when these events spawn in but I, i'll tell you guys what i meant to say after we hopefully get this stuff done so catch you guys in a bit we kind of cheesed out esconor right now guys because i'll show you what i mean uh basically he's down over there and he's not able to attack us dude i'm not gonna lie this battle is not a joke we've been trying this battle for like the past 10 minutes now i think something like that and uh everybody just keeps getting manhandled by this guy esconor like he is absolutely not a joke what just happened oh okay 
No. Did they? Oh, my God. We had gotten him to the lowest point. Oh, my Lord. Bro, this battle was so freaking annoying, man. Maybe if I was, like, max level, it would be going a lot better for us. But it's a very, 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 very tough battle. And granted, we have, like, three to four people also here helping us out. There you go. I perfect blocked that, at least. Bro, he disappeared, guys. <laughs> I, I cannot. <laughs> All right. Whatever, bro. We couldn't even kill that guy. So, I don't know. Maybe it was like 10 minutes. Maybe it was more than 10 minutes that we tried to kill him and we couldn't. I don't know. But, um, right. Before I got interrupted with the actual boss fight, I wanted to show you guys. I mean, look. There's even some item spawns here now. So, my rotation typically is something like this it's like i go to the sand area and you won't be able to teleport as freely as me when you're lower level because you only unlock all the locations to teleport to i think starting at prestige 2 which i'm at but um literally as you guys can see it's pretty simple to mine the ores you're not always gonna get good spawns but this is the first area and i don't know why but i almost just died um probably because my transformation ran out i think but um right after i do that I just reset simply. I hit up the Fishman waterfall next, right? Right next to dude over here. There's a spawn for the ore right over here. And then I just go down over here. There's like, I think four spawns over here for ores. And there's usually ores on these rocks almost all the time. So as you guys can see, there's one over here. I just got some diamond. There we go. I got some black steel. And these two are iron. So the last rotation that I do um is literally just resetting and i go to the land of shinobi and there's like literally one right over here so i do this and i server hop so that's what i've been doing i haven't gotten really that lucky with much ores but that's a fast and effective way to get ores in case you guys are, are wondering or were curious but now to talk about the actual update and what i was trying to say about me playing over an hour close to an hour and 30 minutes now and not getting nothing done uh basically the discord server even though it has that boss call out thing people flood that section of the discord server and the server that the person that makes a call out so it's like effectively like useless you know what i mean so that's very annoying and then to have all these different bosses like it's only gonna get worse and worse and worse on like rotation for spawns when events only happen 30 minutes that's a very very obsolete in my opinion mechanic um and long term honestly if the game updates how it's been updating i i don't see the game lasting too long because i'm telling you bro how is it I'm, i've been playing for an hour and 30 and I, I have nothing to show for it you know what i mean i know that's all rng and stuff like that i get it i mean this update literally it's kind of like the hollow world stuff like the hollow world stuff people that are prestige 3 are even struggling to like farm in that area so it's like why add updates only for higher level players like all the newer players and people like me who just want to come back and record content and show you guys hey this is what you can get after grinding for like an hour or two or if you have game passes and blah blah, blah. like we can't do any of that you know what i mean like we literally have to know life the game and be on here hours upon hours upon hours and i feel like this is something that a lot of roblox teams fall trapped to to where they think that they're like some triple a quality game and they think that retention equates to making things difficult to get and that's not that's not what it is you know what i mean and it's sad to see this game starting to go down that route like it's still premature right but it's starting to go that route maybe dungeons might fix that and might give us a remedy to this problem but yeah it's very lamentable because i really like this game but i mean i can't even show y'all the new update and like literally a new update about seven deadly sins in escanor and all you add in is a boss and a weapon uh, beside the other enchantment stuff and the um the changes but i mean as far as like new content for us to do it, it's literally just one new boss why not add a new area new quest or something like that you know what i mean like something beyond that i just feel like i don't know this update to me was a little bit lackluster but anyway that sums up my video i'll catch you guys later that's pretty much all it was i can't even show you guys the weapon but at least i got to show you guys the boss fight that I was not able to complete because very clearly not even four people <laughs> were able to defeat that damn event.